So in this weekly fragrance rotation, I got quite a few unusual comments about my fragrances. So if you wanna hear about that and what fragrances I chose throughout the week, stay tuned and find out. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, glad to have you here. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you like fragrances, please just hit that subscribe button down below. Be sure to hit the notification bell and also be sure to follow my fragrance Instagram page. But that is correct and bring you guys another weekly fragrance rotation. So let's not waste any time and dive right into it and start it off on Sunday. Okay, so for Sunday, I was pretty much at home just chilling and stuff like that. And I pulled out a clone fragrance that, of a fragrance that I don't actually own. And a fragrance I decided to wear is Dossier's Woody Rum. Now, if you don't know what this is a clone of, it's actually a clone of By Killian Straight to Heaven, which I'm not very familiar with. I maybe smelled it like once or something like that when I was in the uh, like Saks Fifth Avenue, but don't really remember what it smells like. But this fragrance here, all I can tell you guys is this is incredible. It kind of comes across very like dry, very dusty. Obviously very uh, kind of boozy as well with the rum. But you also have like dried fruits in here and patchouli. It's so amazing. I cannot wait to actually try the original straight to heaven. It might actually even pick a bottle of that up because I actually enjoy this one so much. But on that day, I did go kind of heavy. I went six sprays for just chilling at home. It's a little bit heavy, but I just like this stuff so, so much. And I can only imagine what the original smells like. But besides that, it was a kind of a chilly day. Didn't get any compliments, got wasn't really around anyone. But yeah, that's what I wore for Sunday chilling at home is Woody Rum. Okay, so for Monday, I was at work and I actually pulled out another clone. I must've been in the mood for clones the past two days, but the fragrance I pulled out is Semi Andras White Sapphire. Now this is actually a clone of Nishani Hasivat, which I never smell, don't own a bottle, nothing like that. But I have heard it smells like Aventus, which I'd assume it does because this right here does have the Aventus DNA. This is actually kind of, kind of fruity like Aventus, but it's actually very dark and smoky as well, which is incredible. Now. This stuff from Sammy Andras, this isn't a straight to parfum and the performance is incredible guys. Lasts all day, projects off your skin amazingly as well. This is just a beast. But at work, I did go six sprays of this, didn't get any comments, but I'd imagine everyone around me probably smelled me. And I'll talk about that later as well. But yeah, I love this stuff and I am so happy to have this in the collection. This is only a 30 ml bottle, so I mean, it probably will last me a very long time since obviously I own a lot of fragrances, but yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. Okay, so for Tuesday, back at work again, and I put out a fragrance that people think smells like Aventus, but it does not smell like Aventus at all to me. And the fragrance is Mancera's Cedra Boise. Now this here is just one of the most juicy fragrances in my whole entire collection, guys. Very juicy, very fruity, a little bit woody, obviously with the cedar wood and the dry down, but the opening of this stuff is amazing, guys. Now, I was at work, I did go six sprays again, now I did have a weird comment about my fragrances and the way I smell. This woman, she actually came over to me, one of my coworkers, she came over to me holding a candle, guys. She came over and said, hey Hunter, smell this candle, this smells like you. I was like, what? I was kind of like thrown off by it a little bit. Now mind you, this is the woman that's never complimented me before my fragrances, never said anything about the way I smell, nothing like that. Which is a reminder, just because people don't compliment your fragrance doesn't mean they can't smell it, which sometimes I think like that too. But yeah, that's not the case at all. But she came over and said, smell this, it smells like you. I smelled it. It was a nice aquatic candle. And then I asked her, I was like, um, what, do you usually smell me? She's like, yeah, I smell you so strongly all the time. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much how it ended with that. But I don't think she was really talking about Cedra Boise on that day that smelled like it. Maybe just in general, like when I wear fragrances and stuff like that, that's aquatic or just smells good, I suppose. But yeah, I went six sprays with Cedra Boise. I absolutely love this stuff. Don't wear it much anymore, but when I do, it is a delight. So for Wednesday, I'm back at work and I was in the mood for like a warm, spicy, comforting fragrance because it was kind of chilly, but the fragrance I pulled out is Frederick Mall's Musk Ravageur. Now, if you're looking for warm, comforting, and spicy, look no other than this fragrance right here, guys. Now, this is also a little bit animalic. It is very furry as well with the, um, the musk. It's very furry in here, which obviously is based off of Musk Ravageur. And guys, oh my goodness. This stuff is one of the sexiest fragrances probably in the world, guys. Now, 
I absolutely love this stuff. Again, I went six sprays of this, which is pretty heavy for a muskrat azure. This stuff is glowing, very, very potent. Now, I did have one of my coworkers, he actually came up to me. He was like, hey man, you smell, um, he said, do you smell like vinegar or garlic? I was like, no, I don't actually. But it kind of threw me off guard again. But when I actually thought about it, I was smelling my fragrance and it kind of, kind of come across vinegary or garlicky. I could definitely see how someone would actually pick up on that, but I just said, no, man. And <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny because it was probably muskrat azure, guys, because it does kind of have that uh, that kind of feeling to the fragrance, very vinegary. I would never have thought of that, but until he mentioned it, that's when it popped in my mind that it could probably be this one. But yeah, that, I didn't get any comments. I wouldn't consider that a comment at all since I don't, I don't like the smell of vinegar or garlic. Or actually, I do like garlic, but vinegar, not so much. But I do like the smell of muskrat azure. So that's what I pulled out for Wednesday is this beauty here. Okay, so for Thursday, guys, I woke up, I wake up very early. But on that day when I woke up, I was freezing. For some reason, it was very, very cold here. Almost felt like it would be snowing outside, but not quite. Uh, but yeah, it was in like the low, low 40s, I believe. And there's a fragrance that works perfectly when I'm just feeling really cold. Uh, this one here warms me up like no other fragrance. It's kind of like sitting by a fireplace. No pun intended, you probably know what I'm speaking about. And that is By the Fireplace by Mason and Margiela, guys. Now, this one is chestnuts roasting on a fire. Very warming, very comforting. I love this stuff, guys. This gets me through the winter. <laughs> During my winter rotations, guys, I usually pull this one like every every week, pretty much. I love this stuff in the colder months, but it obviously isn't snowing. This works better when it's very, very cold, like in the 20s, 10s, very freezing when it's snowing and it's snowing outside and a bunch of snow on the ground. This one works better for that. But for some reason, I was cold and I just wanted to wear this one because I can, obviously. And yeah, I love this. I went six sprays of it, so a little bit heavy, but I like it. I like the way it smells. Didn't get any comments, surprisingly, because people will love this stuff. But yeah, <sighs> I love this stuff so much. This is so good. If you never smell this one, go try it. If you like the smell of being by the fireplace and you like warm fragrances, you have to check this one out without a doubt. So for Friday, I'm off on Fridays. And on that day, I actually went shopping, um, ran some errands, things like that. But I pulled out a very potent fragrance. And one of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection. If you guys caught my review of it, you would know I rate I rank this as a masterpiece 10 out of 10. And the fragrance is Emwage Blue Beast, which is Interlude Man. Oh my gosh. Now, if you like incense as a note, you have to get this one. It also has the oregano note, which kind of gives it a gourmand touch, but alongside the incense, guys, this smells luxurious. It smells holy. I love this stuff so, so, so much. It's in my top three fragrances of all time. As of now, obviously that can change, but Interlude Man is by far a masterpiece. Now they just released Interlude 53, which is a 53% concentration of fragrance oils. In this one, uh, I never smelled it, but I heard great things about it. They also have like Black Iris, which I never smelled either. I'm kind of curious about Black Iris though, see how that comes across. And obviously Iris notes very powdery, very lipsticky, but I don't know what Black Iris really is. But Interlude Man's what I put out now. I went light on the trigger. I only went two sprays of this stuff because this stuff is strong. And I just went out shopping and um, I smelled it throughout the whole time I was out though, to be honest with you guys, with only two sprays. I didn't actually go nose blind to it either. Because honestly, if you're trying to test your fragrances, usually you want to go lighter on the trigger, either like farther away from your nose, you won't go nose blind to it and you'll notice how much it actually does project. Like sometimes what I do to test my fragrances, I'll spray like my ankles, <clears throat> like one or two sprays get so far from my nose and it just, I get whiffs of it all day long, which I'm six foot three. So about like six feet, like six feet away from my nose or so, it's still projecting. So that's how you can test the uh, the length of the projection or see how of your fragrance too, just a hint. And I will give you guys a spray routine, tips and stuff like that to make your fragrance last longer in the future. So stay tuned to that. But yeah, that's what I put out for Friday, just running errands and shopping is Interlude Man by Emlage. Okay, so on Saturday, it was kind of a warmer day, which was nice because it's been pretty cold throughout the week. But on that day, I kind of just relaxed at home. I watched some UFC. If you guys didn't know, I'm a huge UFC fan. So comment down below if you guys like UFC as well, or if you made it this far to the video, let me know you guys like UFC if you guys do, because I usually watch them like every Saturday. But 
yeah, watch UFC. And I just wanted to pull out a comforting fragrance uh, that I don't wear often at all. And it's a fig dominant fragrance in the fragrance of Salvatore Ferragamo's Pour Homme. Now this one is a great, great cheapie guys. I bought this one at Nordstrom Rack for like $17 for a 100 ml bottle. So if you're looking for a Pour Homme by Salvatore Ferragamo, check out your Nordstrom Rack if you have one local. They had a ton of these there. Now, this is obviously, like I said, a dominant fig fragrance. Now, as a fig note, many people can be persuaded away from it or they love it. I do love the note of fig. I'm not really a fan of eating figs, to be honest with you, but I do like the way they smell. Now on that day, I did go three sprays since I was just chilling at home. Didn't get any compliments, of course. Wasn't really buying anyone, but yeah, this one was a pleasure just to wear around the house. I do like wearing this one for that kind of situation. Don't wear it out that much. Don't really reach for it that much, but I was in the mood for a fig fragrance and this one you can barely beat, especially for the cost. So that's gonna wrap up my weekly fragrance rotation. Let me know down below what fragrance you guys chose to wear. Definitely love to hear it. Leave a like if you guys haven't already and I'll catch all you guys in the next fragrance upload. Take care, everybody.